Thank you, Karat. And first, I want to thank um, the Kazakhstan mission and all of the work that they put into this. This was a very thoughtful trip in the fact that we saw every aspect of the Afghan government. We saw everything that they're working on, from education to business to military, all aspects, and we heard both sides um, of the story. So we really got a full picture. And so again, congratulations to the Kazakhstan mission for a fantastic trip. What I can tell you is, um, from the United States standpoint, um, it was a great trip to Afghanistan because the U.S. policy on Afghanistan is working. We could see dramatic changes in terms of what the U.S. policy has been doing. We are seeing that we're closer to talks with the Taliban and the peace process than we've seen before. Um, from all the government officials, they were very, very grateful, and we're working hand in hand with the Afghans, and I think that we really are going to continue to work towards a peace process, with the goal being that we do not want Afghanistan to be a safe haven for terrorism anymore. And so we continue to go down that path. It was great to see our U.S. troops. You can't help but be inspired by their service and their sacrifice and their commitment. It is not a safe area, but they're making it safer every day. And their ability to work with the partners on this council as well as the Afghan military has really been strong. It was impressive to see President Ghani and his administration. They are moving forward on reforms. We saw that in particular when you look at um, the fact that they're trying to work against corruption and really make moves on that. One good example was they are changing the retirement age from 72 to 60. By doing that, 4,000 military leaders are going to be retiring. And that in itself shows a big difference. 70 of those were generals. So they are now bringing in a new generation of military leaders to take it forward. We saw half of the cabinet was under the age of 40. So there really is a new younger leadership that is taking place that is pushing for reforms. We're seeing more girls in school. We obviously um, are seeing the status for women is changing. It has a long way to go, but it is changing, and they are working on that as well. I think the biggest importance for the U.S. is certainly elections. We have parliamentary elections this year that need to take place, and then presidential next year. And um, we, along with the council, reiterated the point that they need to be free and fair elections, but they also need to include every ethnic community so that it is inclusive <coughs> and moves forward towards really being something that represents the people. So we will be watching that. I think what is most important that the U.S. wanted was we wanted to see an Afghan-led and Afghan-owned policy. And what was impressive is the Afghan leaders are completely taking responsibility for that. They don't ask us for things, they're telling us what they're doing. It wasn't about talk, it was about action, and we could see those. And I think if they can continue down that path of results, we'll continue to see this peace process moving forward. Um, I think what was asked of the Security Council that I found interesting from Afghanistan was they basically asked for three things. One was they asked for um, consensus on international pressure to get Pakistan to change its behavior. They continue to make 10 steps forward, and with Pakistan, they feel like they continue to take steps backwards. And they said that as long as they're supporting terrorism in Pakistan, the Afghan community is continuing to feel it and is not safe. And so they did ask us for consensus to put further pressure on Pakistan to come to the table um, and change their behavior. The second thing that they asked for was help with narcotics. I think that they really are trying to change the trade there, and the way they want the Security Council help is to make sure that we look at where the narcotics are produced, but then also every country that moves them. And so I think that's a bigger situation, but it's something that the U.S. certainly wants to look at as we go forward, because it doesn't just apply to Afghanistan, it applies to many places around the world, and we think that could be helpful. And then the final thing they asked was consensus of all of us and um, support from the region, because they really feel the need to have international support and consensus in a way that we're all working towards the same thing. And I think you saw that out of the council. I was very proud to be a part of this team because everyone was in agreement that Afghanistan's moving in a good direction and we have to continue to help them do that. So a fantastic trip. Thanks again to Kazakhstan for um, really giving us great insight and being able to see on the ground exactly what's going on. Thank you.